Google Gemini has launched a new exclusive computer use model. So this model can control your computer remotely or locally and then do certain tasks for you. This is like the Kua model from OpenAI, which is for computer use. So all the agentic tasks that you want to do with a computer use model, you can do it with this particular model. So this is a dedicated model different from 2.5 Pro. So the model comes with some impressive benchmark numbers. One very important benchmark I was looking forward to see was OS World, but that was somehow not reported because it says it is not yet supported, but on every other benchmark, this model outperforms every other best model. So for example, Claude Sonnet 4.5 is one of the best agentic model in current environment. And this model, Gemini 2.5 computer use, the model that was launched a couple of days back is scoring extremely well when you compare it with Claude Sonnet 4.5. And there are like other models, including OpenAI's model, which is somehow there, Kua model, computer using agent model. And this model is much, much better than even OpenAI model. So overall, this model, this is somehow a very good model for a lot of different computer use tasks. And one very important metric, I should say, the latency. See, you can have a really good model, but if the model takes a lot of time, nobody is going to wait for automation, especially in environments like robotic process automation or business process automation. Speed is very much important. So latency is very much important. And Google is claiming that their model has got the best trade-off between latency and quality. And you can see here, the model has got the higher accuracy, but at the same time, the model has got the lowest latency when you compare it with OpenAI Kua, Claude Sonnet 4.5 and Claude Sonnet 4, which is still one of the goated programming models. So how does this computer use model work? So there is an initial task that you would give. For example, the task could be like, go to YouTube and search for one little coder. Now that task is sent to the model as a request. And when it is sent to the model as a request, you also send the screenshot using Playwright or whatever that you want to do locally, or if it is remote, you can use browser base and then sent with the previous context to the model. The model in this case is Gemini 2.5 computer use, and the model is going to receive a response and the response would in involve um, like the entire computer environment. And from there, the model is going to do an action. And that action is going to be like clicking a button or doing some sort of thing. And then finally capture the new environment state and then repeat this in loop until the given task has been completed. Very easy to set up locally. The only important catch is if you are on free tier of Google Gemini, um, like whatever their plan is, like either on AI Studio or Google Cloud GCP, this model is not going to work. You have to be at least on tier one, tier two, tier three. So free tier is not going to work. But if you are on paid plan with Google, then it's very very, very straightforward for you to use it. All you have to do is clone the repository, activate the virtual environment, and then you have to install Playwright for browser automation locally, or you can do it within browser base, which is on the remote. And finally, you can just like um, set up the key and then give the query whatever you want to do, and then it is going to work. I'm going to show you the same demo, but it is hosted on browser base, which is again the cloud interface. So we're going to go ask a very simple question and then see how it is going to perform. And this is not like a pre-recorded demo. So you're going to see live how much time it takes, the speed and everything. I'm going to say, go to um, YouTube and search for one little coders latest video. So let's see how it goes. So I've just given a very simple instruction. In this case, it has to only perform an action. It's not going to get any information or do some sort of browser emulation. And you can see on the browser base, you get like five uh, minutes for you to experiment. So first it goes to Google for some weird reason, maybe the new tab is Google and you can see what kind of task it is doing here in the left hand side. So first it uh, did a tool call, open the web browser and it didn't have to do any argument. The next it navigated and then searched for YouTube and uh, it has gone to uh, YouTube. And it says the task is to go to YouTube and search for one little coders latest video. I mean, it's kind of dumb to search for one little coders latest video, but let's see. Successfully navigated to YouTube. Now I need to search for one little coders latest video. And you can see that it is even marking the pixels, like the place exactly where it has to go search. So you can see it, it's got like the visual sense. So it's searching one little coders and it is typing actually. It's using the keyboard to type. It's not like the pasting text. It is actually typing and uh, it says one little code is latest YouTube video. I've never searched like this um, because I didn't know that YouTube works when I say, okay, cool. So I've got a, uh, <laughs> my, my video is right next to uh, rhymes. Uh, one little finger, one little finger. That's very interesting. I didn't know, I didn't know that um, this is how YouTube would show. 
somebody searches for latest video so now it realizes that i've done this and i will click on one little coder channel name and uh, i've successfully navigated to the youtube channel and uh, for some reason it is going to shorts i don't know why but you get the point so i'm going to stop the session here i'm going to do one more last thing so i'm going to go back here and uh, do the same thing so we have uh, gemini we are going to restart and this time we are going to do something very very simple go to hacker news and pick the 10th article on the top trending page so i want it to first go to hacker news which is i think pretty easy but the main catch here is that it has to identify the 10th article from the top uh, which is already numbered and then it has to do that i think whenever it opens a browser google shows up so um, it's not entirely dumb to go to google and then search for hacker news so first one open the browser open the browser has been successfully done now it is going to search for hacker news i would have appreciated it if it had given the exact url um like for hacker news news.ycombinator.com but let's say that it's uh, it's just like trusting google more so it's uh, searching for hacker news and uh, as you see it's typing and i'm not doing anything with my hands or um, you know i'm not i'm not trying to control anything it's searching for hacker news it got the hacker news result so it's going to you can see that it is doing a tool action which is to click so the tool call is to click art right? you can see all the tool calls open browser is a tool call type text it is a tool call and whenever you see type text it it has the dimension like the pixel exactly where it has to type and uh, you can see it evaluated the article is this the 10th article i didn't even see uh, let, let me go back and then see um it says 10th article that's very interesting i didn't see if it was the 10th article so let's open a new tab private window news combinator and i want to see 10th one okay discord 70 say 70000 users may have had their government ids leaked in a breach okay that's a very terrible article to say but it exactly marked the 10th article and then clicked it for us and then it gives us the article so as you can see it's a very good model and the model seems to be really doing good one thing that i found from one of the github issues is that the model is extremely slow and uh, i don't know for what reason the model is slow so there are like a couple of complaints that the execution is slow so i hope that is just like normal complaints not necessarily like production level complaints but if you want use computer automation or rpa or bpa then probably this is one of the good candidates that you can consider to automate your computer workflow both locally or remotely so this is gemini 2.5 computer use model not available on free tier let me know if you have got any questions see in another video happy prompting